Hello everybody, it's Alex1020 back again, and obviously the PlayStation Network is back online. Hooray! And I'm playing Brink Online. Not hooray! Brink Online is, uh, well, um, it's challenging to say the least. Not challenging in good sense, challenging as in it's got a lot of problems. So without further ado, I'd like to bring you my public service announcement. We interrupt your regularly scheduled blog and commentaries to bring you this important public service announcement. Panic. A widespread plague has hit the gaming world, and the repercussions of this epidemic could mean the end of gaming as we know it. The HA virus, or half-assed virus for short, uh, is a six-stage virus that attacks the hearts of gamers with the possibility of causing lethal reactions for the infected victims. The HA virus is manufactured by a group calling themselves the developers. The following are the stages of the HA virus. Stage 1, the hype. Stage 2, the game. Stage 3, the patch. Stage 4, the fall. Stage 5, the recovery. And stage 6, repetition. During the hype, the developers designed the virus to attack both the minds and hearts of the victims. When attacking the minds, the HA virus will release images of awesome fights, cool music, death-defying acrobatics, and a sense of camaraderie among members. However, these images are clear fabrications that the developers have called trailers. These trailers can be released several different times in several different ways. Sometimes the trailers don't even look the same when they're released. However, they all are clear fabrications. Once a trailer is released upon a victim, it can spread from victim to victim like, like wildfire. Through popular sites like YouTube, N4G, IGN, Wired Controller, and other, and other popular gaming websites. These trailers, as the developers like to call them, will ca can cause desires in the hearts of the victims. These desires can be sometimes grow so strong that they lead the victim to criminal actions. What after stage one is completed, and the developers have successfully implemented these desires in the gamers through their use of trailers, they release a catalyst to the virus, which causes the virus to spread even more. This catalyst they call the game. The game is probably the hardest hitting stage of the HA virus. The game can either do one of two things. It can create a strong or a positive reaction with the victim or it creates a negative reaction to the victim. However, more, most recently, the game has been creating negative reactions among the members, or among the victims. The game, the developers will release the game in a purposefully broken condition, so that when the people buy it, it is practically, so that when the victims buy it, it is practically unusable, and will, is guaranteed to create negative reactions among the gamers. Why would they do this? Who knows? But they release this purposefully broken game for people. After the developers intentionally release the game in a broken state and create depression and anger among the hearts of the victims, they release stage 3 of the HA virus, known as the patch. The patch is an inhibitor which is designed to fix the problems that plague the game. Oftentimes, the patch is, again, intentionally released, broken, and not fixing all of the problems in the game. They are only released to bring hope back to the victims that they may, they may survive the HA virus. However, most of the time, the developers do not like to release full patches that fix all of the problems. After the patch is released, stage 4 comes around, and stage 4 is known as the fall. After the patch is released to try and fix the problems with the game, the victims start to regain hope that they can survive the HA virus. They attempt to reinitialize the game into their lives. Most of the time, the victims will have, will have repeat negative reactions, sometimes greater negative reactions, or sometimes completely different negative reactions to the game. The patch does not fix the game completely, most of the time. 
However, sometimes the developers will release the patch, which fixes the game completely. But this is this is very uh, very rare and far and few between that this actually happens. However, for the most part, the patch will not fix the game, and the victim will develop senses of severe anger and oftentimes intolerable aggression. Stage 5. Recovery. After the fall, the victim will go into recovery mode. During this time, the victim is completely... During this time, one of two things will happen. The victim will either completely remove the HA virus by removing the game from their lives, or they will develop an immunity to the HA virus and the problems that plague the game. If they are able to develop a immunity to the problems that plague the game, then they can continue to play the game, and sometimes, sometimes they even enjoy it. But this is again a rarity. After the developers, or after the victims, mind you, have either developed an immunity to the game, or have, or have gotten rid of the game completely, the developers will move on to stage six of their attack plan. They will go into repetition. The developers, seeing how well their HIV or AJ virus worked the first time, will begin to develop a new and updated HA virus to unleash upon their victims. The victims of the first HA virus will sometimes see the new HA virus through the use of the trailers, and the process will repeat itself again. However, sometimes victims of the HA virus will develop a complete immunity to the developer and will not fall and will not succumb to the trailers surrounding the new HA virus. This is a public service announcement. If you or anybody you know starts to fall into the categories, any of the categories you saw from the HA virus, please immediately call 1-800. I know somebody who is infected with the HA virus and I don't know how to help them. Thank you. This is the end of the public service announcement. Sincerely, Lex1020, an HA victim, survivor. Alright, so, um, <laughs> sorry, that was just, uh, I don't know what I was doing there. I was bored and decided I was going to write that and commentate on that. But, seriously, people, I know I over-dramatized that quite a bit, and I'm sorry because I did use it as, um, I did kind of do medical stuff, and I know viruses and diseases and whatnot aren't really something to be joking about, but... It's one of those things that, you know, we need, as gamers, need to start taking action. We need to start doing something. These developers, they're going to keep releasing games like this, and they're just going to keep, you know, they don't care. Why should they care? I mean, if they can release a game and people can buy it and they can just patch it later, why does it matter? Why do they care? Let's take a look at some games. Medal of Honor Online. So many problems. Black Ops, ton of problems. It was practically unplayable on the PC when it first came out. Brink, I don't know if you saw the um, the massive amount of clipping and lag that I hit at one point during this game, but I mean, it's it's ridiculous the type of stuff that developers will try and shove on us to play. They release these terrible games and then expect us to buy them and just wait patiently for them to patch them. I, for one, would personally be much happier waiting for the game to be waiting for the game being delayed for three months, and then releasing a perfect game when it came out, than for them to release a broken game and then patch it three months later. I don't want to play a broken game. I'd rather play a perfect game and have to wait a little bit longer, wouldn't you? I mean, let's use another example. Example: Sniper, Ghost Warrior. I don't um, know how many of you remember that game. It came out on the Xbox uh, maybe two years ago. Year, year, two years ago? I think two years ago. But it came out on the Xbox two years ago. And um, it had a lot of problems. Well, there was a reviewer that I read, and God bless his heart. Um, the developers of Sniper Ghost Warrior, he posted his review, and it was really bad actually, and the developers for Sniper Ghost Warrior actually actually 
went to him, I don't know if they went to any other sites, but they went to him, and they talked to him, and they actually asked him, and they said, can you, can you remove your review and not publish your review until, until we have the game patched? What? They are asking him to not publish his review until the game is patched and fixed? And this is why I said, God bless his heart. He replied to the developers and he said, You want me to not review your game until after it's fixed? How about you don't release the game until after it's fixed? Or how about I tell all of my readers not to buy your game until after it's fixed? This is... It's getting ridiculous, people. Developers are releasing these type of... These games that are clearly that are clearly not ready to be released. I'm Again, Black Ops, I'm going to use this one as an example. Black Ops is... Call of Duty is pretty much the biggest gaming franchise around right now, at this time. It is the biggest gaming franchise. They have the most money behind them. They have the biggest backing behind them. Why could they not get this game up and running correctly? Why? I mean... They have so much money, they've got so many billions of dollars that they can use to hire people who can work on this game. They could have done beta testing, they could have done, you know, they could have done so many things to get this game working. Dedicated servers, for example. But they didn't. Why not? Because they can just release it and patch it later. It's ridiculous what these developers are doing. Well, I mean, why, why on earth would you would you sell something that is not that is not correct? I mean, that is not a hundred percent. It's almost criminal. They're selling something that's not that's not up to par with what they say it is. I mean, if it a, if a cell phone company says this phone can survive a drop of a hundred feet and you go and drop it at a hundred feet and it shatters that there's a lawsuit because the company said that it can survive a hundred foot drop and it doesn't I mean that could be a lawsuit I mean for Christ's sake coffee hot coffee was a lawsuit because the cup didn't say hot but developers can release games that are broken and unplayable what, I mean, what on God's name, what in God's name is, is this? And the only reason the developers can do it is because we, as the gamers, buy them. For the record, I didn't buy Brink. I saw it at Redbox, and I rented it for $2. But, for God, I mean, for, in God's name, why, why do we keep just supporting these developers when they release just these terrible games? Think about it. Why? Why do you support? Why do you support Activision or Treyarch or you know when they release a game like Call of Duty Black Ops, which you can't play on the PC, you can't play it on the PS3 because of the infinite load screens, and on the Xbox it's laggy as hell. Why would you support them? Why would you buy that game? Why? Why would you even make that game? Why wouldn't you take you know delay it an extra month to get it? Uh, to get it released and get it fixed, right? I just I don't understand it, and we as gamers need to stop need to stop lining their pockets with green and really um God, what am I really really like focus? We need to vote with our wallets. The only thing developers understand is money, 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 money. If they can sell a game, even if the game's terrible, they're going to do it. They don't care. They're going to sell their terrible game. Why should we buy these terrible games? We shouldn't. And that's what we need to start doing, is voting with our wallets. We need to start telling the developers that unless they're going to really work on these games and really fix these games and make them the best they can be, when they launch, we're not going to buy them. I guarantee you... If nobody bought Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, when Modern Warfare 3 gets released, if nobody bought it, I guarantee you they would patch it immediately. And they'd keep patching it until people decided that they wanted to buy it. 
Anyways, that's just my little rant. Thanks for watching. Lex1020, out.